It's an unfortunate story. One of hip hop's own, Bobby Schmurter, shout out New York. He says, yo, he ain't really on the rap scene no more and his kids will not be listening to said music. In a recent interview on the Danza Project podcast, Smurda said, you got these kids following you guys and you are rapping about these lifestyles. It's dangerous to the communities. It's endangering. It's detrimental. These little kids think that that is going on. Something that you did not even live. I think rap's supposed to be telling them efforts to go from negative to positive, coming from poverty to go to riches and stuff like that, and how to stay in that and how to change. That's the itch that I want to hear. I want to hear about living life. That's why I don't listen to rap for real. I don't listen to rap. I don't want nothing. No nothing about rappers. Only time I listen to rap is when I'm in the club and I just dance to anything. So Bobby's letting it be known like, yo, I got on the scene with this record hot and I ain't even on that time anymore. You know, Bobby did seven years in prison being a part of a, a pretty much a Rico case and got a conspiracy to murder charge. And he was one of the dudes that did it the way that we say it's supposed to be done, right? He lived by the code. He held it down. He could have got out earlier, held it down for his man's Roddy Rebel. They did the same amount of time, got out at the same time. And, and for Bobby Smurda, it doesn't feel like, I don't think he feels like hip hop rewarded him for that. He came home, you know, some of the music sounded like before he went in, but then immediately you could just tell the change in Bobby and he went to a, a softer brand of music, but now it's like, yo, I done held it down, held it to the cold, and now y'all not receptive to my music because I didn't change a lot. I think he's a little upset. I, do, I really do. I, I haven't met Bobby before, but I really believe he's upset with how he's not been received since coming home. Like, yo, I did what was supposed to be done, right? I was solid when I was young and dumb, doing dumb stuff. I held it down. I did my time as a stand-up dude. Now I want to make some changes in the music, and now the fans ain't here for it. So I believe there's a little bit of um, negligence from Bobby Smurda with, with rap music right now, because I, I believe he thinks the rap community and the fans didn't hold him down the way he thought he should have been held down. And shout out to Quavo and the Migos. They definitely showed Bobby some love when he came home. I just don't think Bobby feels as though he got the love that a lot of people were talking to him about giving him when he was down and locked up for, you know, staying true to the code. If you want more exclusive news about Bobby Schmurter and a plethora of other artists, what I need you to do right now is to make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's Mr. Telefero. Our Facebook page is Mr. Telefero. We got a lot more on the way. Super big announcements coming really, really soon. I'm thankful for the love, the time and support. You know we never take that for granted.